Techno pocket watch, but I have no idea what happened to that damn thing. <laughs> okay, either way, stream is on, and I forgot to turn this plug this light in and turn it on. Uh, but yeah, it says stream. Hello, to anyone in Bay Watching Now or Later, Helen here along with. Here. And yeah, today we're going to be testing out something with the VR again. Uh, okay, it's been activated there for half a second. Uh, but this time with the webcam on through NVIDIA broadcast. And yeah, just going to move my chair away. Everything that I should be able, uh, capable of tripping over has been moved away. So yeah, controllers here and here so I can easily pick them up and yeah we're we're going to tr we're going to give three games here a try for half an hour each similar to something Sunday only now with VR and we'll to test out the AirLink feature which allows the, my headset to connect to my computer wirelessly over the Wi-Fi so the computer can run the game and this can well just basically act as an uh, an expensive monitor <laughs> so yeah here we go then. Okay, controllers and okay. Now it's running stuttery again for some reason. It did that light. Light. Okay, come on. It did this earlier and yeah, it, it just caught off again. I'm guessing if the if the headset shuts down or it turns itself off due to inactivity, it loses connection for a second and then has to re-establish it. So yeah, firstly, connect, correcting these hmm, wrist straps. I'm not sure if the Oculus menu is showing at the moment. Probably not. But yeah, let me reposition myself and then recorrect the view forwards. There we go. And yeah, the first game that we'll be using to try this out with is Robo Recall, which came with the Quest. Well, which came with basically any. Oculus uh, product at the start. I do know that there is a paid version, but I'm not entirely sure about that. And it seems that my save got deleted. Oh well. New game, and let's get in. Also, of course, uh, potential motion sickness uh, warning, because I'll probably be mo needing to move around quite a bit with this. Interrupt your regularly scheduled program when blimps attack to bring you this emergency announcement. An emergency. We have reports of a disturbance in the downtown area and are getting word that the Robo Ready Corporation has issued the following press release. Love those guys. <clears throat> your trusted friends at Robo Ready want to reassure you that the rumors you've heard are very likely exaggerated. I trust them. There is nothing to fear. The allegations that our new Tau Series 9 are malfunctioning have not been verified by any reputable source. I'm a Tau 9. We the Tau 9s may appear to be destroying property, but it's equally possible that they are simply carrying out one of our many urban renewal programs. They are almost certainly not running on mark. I'd like to run a mark. You are likely almost entirely safe. We stake our reputation uh, on it. Excuse me. Well, there you have it. Uh, hold on a moment. Unconfirmed sources are telling us that the malfunction may be spreading to town lines in other parts of the city. In response, Robo Ready may be issuing a citywide recall. Until the recallers have the situation under control, the one thing you absolutely must do is... <laughs> Yeah, that's a start, huh? <laughs> uh. Okay, I think the, the text might Welcome, be a bit Major up 34, high. And congratulations on your promotion to the ranks for Robo Ready Recall Specialist. My name is Dolores, and I'm your Artificial Intelligence Deputy. I'm here to help you excel at Robo Ready. We've arrived at your state-of-the-art Robo-Ready work facility. Let's get started. Tilt the thumbstick forward to activate your teleporter. 
Aim the beam at the location in front of you. Now release the thumbstick to teleport. Nice job, Agent. You can also change which way you're facing when you teleport. As before, tilt and hold the thumbstick to aim the beam at the location. Now rotate the thumbstick to change your facing direction. Once facing the correct direction, release the thumbstick. When teleporting, rotate the thumbstick to set which way you will be facing. Yeah. How movement in this is really simple like this. Notice it will take a bit of use to recalled see. product. You can pick it up by grabbing the white ring. Try it now. Yeah. Now observe that the product has multiple white rings. Anything with multiple white rings can be torn apart. Grab a second white ring and try it now. Excellent work. What the Always heck you keep doing? an eye out for multiple white rings when you're holding something. Next yeah. up, you can teleport around the office to see all the state-of-the-art already... resources now at your disposal. Go ahead, try it. Okay, yeah, state-of-the-art, huh? <laughs> it looks like they just converted the oversized janitor's closet. Whenever a robo-ready they... product displays any sort of defect, such as memory leak, power surge, or homicide, our robo-ready recall specialists leap into action. Great work. When you're ready, teleport to the objective marker. Just move the thumbstick until the blue target is in the correct spot. Then let go. I am so concerned. Welcome to weapons training. There we go. Now, for a little target practice. We're teleporting pistols to the holsters at your hips. Look down. Every time you draw a pistol, RoboReady Supply Team receives a requisition request. They will teleport new pistols to you as soon as possible. So check your holsters often. Now you're armed. Just squeeze the trigger to shoot. Yeah, you, you can just... One little thing with these things is that you do have to keep the trigger held. Or else you'll drop it. I can never remember what I, are you human or are you also a robot? Agent 34, human, most likely. we are getting reports of a hotspot in the city where multiple robo-ready products have gone rogue. Please note, product defects are always the result of user error. Robo-ready, not responsible. It's time to test your recall skills in the field. Please hold for teleport. Okay, it did seem, for some reason it did put me Watching, looking the wrong way, uh, well, the wrong way there. So let me reset it once again. Why the hell is it pointing me that way? I'm supposed to be facing. Oh well. Actually, can I check it out then? Uh, what just? I think it just accidentally started the level somehow. Or what the? <laughs> yeah, it, it has been a quite a long while since I played this. When I originally played this, it was still on the Rift S that I had, and currently I that uh, is in the ownership of my brother. I uh, sold it to him cheap because, well, I got this quest. Welcome to the city center, Agent 34. RoboReady needs you to investigate the malfunctioning products. And yeah, this game... Look out, Agent. Yep. Incoming. Is an okay shooter. We okay, evaluate your performance by your score, which you can see here. This is your multiplier. Collect chips to increase your multiplier and drastically increase your score. Okay. Defective products. Shoot them, Agent 34. Shoot them. Move on the alley. Different enemies give different points. Oh. And yeah, you don't re you don't reload, you just get a new freaking gun. Agent, more crawlers. <laughs> what were we just doing after that for Hidian? Also, hi! Hello everybody! Hello! Um. Your 
way up the alley. You are just you just joined in a very interesting timing. Yep, we're testing the, we're testing the uh, air link option of the my arc. Quest. Okay. You can grab wow. and throw bullets. Wait, what? Was a smooth yeah. recall. Keep moving down the alley. We can also collect guns from our enemies. Though of course we'll lose these if we drop them. Oh, hello there. Oh, that went wrong. If you revive Power down. Thank you, thank you, and to the back. Wait, what? Uh, you get bits of slow mo every now and then, and then you go <laughs> friendly fire. Then you can uh, grab bullets like this. Showed. Okay, I think it happened in another game, but I forgot what it was called. But some of time travel insurance. Yeah, I believe. I actually don't remember how that one was named, but let's take this thing. Yeah, I, I, I know Captain Sauce and Multiply and other YouTubers played it a lot. Uh, yeah, just for one, this game is called Robo Recall. Almost got him in there. We're teleporting weapons to your back holsters. Reach over your shoulders. And grab your new shotguns. Where did where did you just walk right past me? Okay, just get there here and fuck off. This area is a hot spot. We should clear it. And now I have a mech shield. <laughs> Okay, I can also walk with this one. Okay. Hey, buddy, I'm Philip. I'm going to integrate to your environment. Agent 34, are you receiving transmissions from an AI calling itself Philip? Please disregard anything this AI says. It is an older, erratic model scheduled for shutdown. She's so sweet on me. Tries to hide it, but I can tell. While you were busy recalling, we had an uptick of rogue robots in this hotspot. We'll need you to recall as many as you can, quickly. Okay, yeah, I've, every now and then you'll get these challenges. So Three, we'll need to go two, in a killing spree. One, go! Okay, where are they coming from? Up there. So we're going to intercept. Why does that Billy look familiar? Wait, is that Billy a Spider-Man reference? Might be, uh, where are the rest? Is this the Daily Goggle or what? The Bugle. Bugle, that, that's the one, thank you. Yeah, the Daily Bugle, what the fuck do you think it was called? <laughs> called the Daily Goggle for some reason. Why? I don't know. I'm not a Spider-Man expert, alright? I only recently saw one season of one of the new ones. Otherwise I only saw it really sporadic. As a kid. Hello there. So good. Actually, as a kid, I, I wasn't much, much into superhero movies or cartoons as a kid. Be right back. Okay. Oh. Lost sight of it. Great. Okay, come here for. That was a bit further away. What the hell are you trying to control? Oh, you're still alive? Let's correct that. Hello. Left. 
What happened just here? I have no idea. Either way, I, I think we're clearly past 10 kills already. Robo ready should promote you to the ruler of the You're up to 20. Only 10 more seconds. And the back, also you're dying. What the back? And they're also Three, dying. Two, oh, well, breaking. Shot to the head! Great recalling, Agent 34. And even and after, just we can get over. some opens. Move to yeah. the next objective. Yeah, just came over to say hi? Yeah, I just came over to say hi, mostly. Oh, why the hell? For some reason... Okay, this, it sure keeps me watching the right way. When I move to this, it puts me at the wrong angle. Hello. Good agent. Robo Ready doesn't think you're ready to deal with that quite yet. Let's return to the office. Teleporting you now. Um, I think this guy needs a bit of the calibration. That's my shoulder. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Oh, Anyways, I'm gonna leave right now. So you guys have fun. Okay. See ya. See ya, and have a good day, Rom. Have a good day. Also, he has really see a triple barrel shotgun. Top of the yep. line office with I love it. Minimum safety standards. You are welcome, Agent 34. You are welcome. Yeah, there, there is. I don't know what it is, but it something seems to be a bit off with this. Oh, yeah, let's just move on to the next. Why the again? I, I'm at an angle. I I'm guessing there is something. A bit screwy between this being on the on the quest and the rift, since with the rift you'd have the sensors to be able to tell you what which side is forwards. But then again, with this one you oh that's accidentally swapped into the pass through feature, so I can look around. Welcome to the yeah. weapons table. This is where you can customize and equip new weapons. Be sure to modify your. You can upgrade your weapons by equipping attachments to them. Equip the gun you are currently holding by holstering it. Then you'll have it at the start of your next mission. Yep, we can change our loadout a bit. Uh, targets destroyed. Let's see. We don't have enough things left for to upgrade anything else, and we don't have access to the other weapons yet. As you can see, a revolver and an MG rifle. It is just simple with just only four guns, but you can change things up a bit by uh, using those uh, <clears throat> by using some ex things like this and let's also put one on that one since you don't need to, you don't have to have both be identical and yeah the laser sight makes it a lot easier to aim okay this is where you can select your next recall mission there's a new mission available in the city center. And when you're ready, you should go, Agent 34. Okay, so that's still counted as the tutorial. Time right, to bring let's... a fight to them. Ready to recall? Yeah. Let's give this mission a shot. Let's see. A half million points, two million, one million, two million. Recall ten with strong bullets. Five double recalls. Okay, basically a double re kill, I presume. And complete in all-star mode. I have no idea what all-star mode is. It's probably Calls hard for mode. Teleport, Agent 34. Again, th here it has it correctly set to where the front is. But oh well. Robo Ready's analytics team wants to examine defective robots. You'll be collecting them for us. Yeah. And not Three, every mission two, will be just one, get killed. Go! Okay, these guys are purple. There are differences between each type. Like some will have pistols, some will have revolvers, and some will have shotguns. Ow. With a smile. 
Yep, this one's empty and broke. Oh, I think we just lost connection for a second. Who needs this battery guns? is low. But I've, I've, I've been charging it for an, over an hour. Okay, I might need to pause it. Oh, Okay, yeah, there is one issue with Matchmaker! That is one problem with the press is that it can run out reasonably fast. Uh, hopefully is not because it'll only be less than half an hour or so. Also head back to the press back. Actually, yes, I am, definitely. <laughs> uh, these, these things just absolutely go everywhere if they miss their jump, don't they? Caution is advised. Uh, yep, there we go. Hello there, and uh, let me just meet your halfway. You can jump into enemies. What did I hit? Uh, there's something behind. Ah, uh, yeah, these little things. These, of course, are going to be a problem all their own because, yeah, they can move around in three dimensions. Now, uh, just let me see. Where's the pause button for a second? There. What the hell did I hit? Oh, oh I think I know what I hit already. <laughs> What? I'll just show it after this. And okay. no, it was not the lamp that I hit. Okay, but my preferred way is getting these guys to just jump up. Out. That was something hard. But it was mostly my hand that was caught in that. Release customer service agent. <laughs> I meant to show you a bit harder, but I guess my hand is a bit out. Okay, fuck you up. I brag to the other AI about you. <clears throat> yeah, I hit uh, one of the cupboards on my wall. Ow! It's not too hard. Customer is a grandma. This area needs to be cleared. Poor Yorick. I knew him not. <laughs> Oh yeah, you can't just go through entire levels just by tearing them to pieces manually. Robo Ready is reading a large uptick of rogue robots in this hotspot. It's your chance. Do that recalling you do so well. Oh, so you gotta say, the, for the, one of the first games, if not the first, this, these are pretty impressive tracks. Three, two, one, go! Yeah, you know, it seems to be a function a little bit bonky. Not me. Get back here, you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you can grab, like I've been doing with these smaller explosive ones. <laughs> you can grab them and make use of some of the things they have. Power down. I'm just flying down. Yeah. You. What the? Something was the name. Ow. Happy to serve. Service with us. Get him! Sixty seconds remaining. Oh, I see you. Yeah, I see you. Thank you. And more, I see you. No, you don't. You're rounded. Okay. There. Nope. 
out. Yes. Yeah, you can just grab them out of the air if you're quick enough. Oop. A recaller among Agent, recallers. Thirty seconds left. Uh -huh. Thank you. Good. Not good. Go get him, Tiger! Boom. And boom. Oh, I'm just Only lucky. ten more seconds. Five. Four. Three. Punching. Yeah, yeah, you, you can also just give him away. Very quickly. Ow, ow, ow. Oh. Hey, you know, pain yeah, apparently. Move to the next objective. Who installed that? Okay. Here. Yeah, I gotta keep in mind that I should keep things focused forwards because otherwise that I'm going to hit stuff. has a shotgun. Hello. Yes. Going to pieces. Oh, hello. You must shove your friend's head up your eyes. <laughs> oh no! Reminds me of my bad Anna's on YouTube. You? Yes, there are. Or you don't have a weapon, so Agent you're being an idiot. Please continue moving. Buffs. Get an aspirin for that headache! Oh. I'm just getting started. Move to the next site. Yeah. I meant to pick it out of the air. Our enemy's plans may become evident if we can analyze enough functioning robots. Please collect as many as possible. Uh, yeah. Now we just gotta chuck a bunch of them in there. Three, and here they come. Two, one, go! So, Collection there's items good. may be thrown into this factor beam. That was not the bottle that was right down. Mean you do. You're the redhead. Hello, boys. You're not going anywhere. Except up. Neither are you. Customer service agent. Why, fool? Come on. Come on, come on. 90 seconds left. Unauthorized service detected. Fucking Matrix hit there for a second. Uh, hello. Hey. That's for you trying to contort me. service. Oh. You're coming along. How do you know Did you not say, I love you, daddy? No, I love space. 60 seconds remaining. Oh, I, I think I just, yep, I beat him against the freaking light bulb. Overachiever, Agent 34. Yep, yep, I'll take that. Oh, yeah! I don't need to collect you, I think, but let's have a look. Yep. Let's get keep your bombs freaking shotguns. Agent, thirty seconds left. Serve your needs this way. Going. 
me. Sit still, you. <laughs> Good work, Agent 34. Robo Reddy's offices are waiting for you. Uh, uh, the 41% accuracy, okay. <laughs> okay, but one thing I need to tell the robots here, right off. Holding helium is my job. <laughs> oh, and that's the 30 minute mark. So let's continue, let's go back to the hub and move on to the second game that we had set up for this, but yeah, you, you can see why I wanted to show this game. You've collected quite a lot of data for <laughs> I got a new, yeah. Like a champ, like a boss, like a real winner! Our analysis has revealed the entity behind these hotspots. A master station, Robo AI, appears to have achieved sentience. He calls himself Odin. From the Spanish, Woden, meaning skips lunch on Wednesdays. Odin likely references the god of Norse mythology. We'll just have to agree to disagree. I don't even know what that means. Odin must be stopped. Okay. This is going to go dark for a second. Uh, also, quit app. Uh, not move this quit app. Okay. That thing is being insistent with its. Just shut up already, you. Okay. That was probably a lot. That was probably a lot louder because. Uh, yeah, I, the phone is right next to the freaking mic here, so I'll, play, I'll put that right next to me here so it annoys me more. Okay. Already a bit sweaty in the face, but that's because that thing is, has quite a. I have a. So I have an extra bit around it for easier cleaning. Um, so yeah, that, that gives quite a tight uh, seal around the face. Uh, why am I looking here? I need to, to continue this in here. Oh, yeah, that, yeah that, does, that also means that a lot of heat just can't escape. And this thing is being a bit wet already. I should probably... Next, when, I, if, when I eventually get to streaming VR, I probably should. Actually, it's also complaining about power. So, um, hmm, how to fix that? Because it's a bit short for just 30 minutes of a stream. I could, I could put the freaking power cable back in, but actually, uh, that one specifically might not work because I have to rig move around to. Actually, let's just do that since. It's kind of obsolete with the air link, and it's actually connected to the back of my uh, monitor here, which has a few USB slots. Come on, let go. This isn't the best angle to grab it at. Come on, I know you've been in there for like a year. Let's go. There we go. Okay. Now I can just pull the cable from the behind and then put it into a USB thing here. There, that's now powered. And I can just put it here along the floor and plug it in like so. Okay. For streaming, I should also make sure that this thing is fully charged. And if not, that I I should probably try and tape a power bank to it. Okay. Oh, it's dear. mostly clean. Controllers together. And 
Actually, I will meet, I'll meet, I'll be able to start the, the next game up, but I'll have to change OBS. Oh, it's lost connection again for a bit. Yeah, you're going to need to. Yeah, you're going to need to. Oh. Screen share it to you. Yes, I know. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's it's it. good. good. Yeah, come on, desktop. The next two games are for Steam VR. So I need to start that up first through the Oculus stuff. And okay, there's a bit of fog on my lenses at the moment. Actually, desktop. Yeah, desktop monitor one. And yep. Then to Steam at the bottom there. Steam VR. Okay. Wristbands. Because, like I said previously, we've all seen enough people destroy their TVs with the Wii. I'm not going to do that with my monitor with these. Oh dear. Okay. Uh, or is no that that's fog on my glasses, not on the headset itself. Yes, yes. Stop complaining about power being low. You're being charged as we speak. Can I check that here? No, I cannot. I'd need to disconnect everything for that. Okay. Start this up. This, this game is just a silly little thing that I found for free on Steam. Oh, and it's having a bit of issue running. Okay. Just need to wait for it to start up. Okay, what? What? What's with the stutter again? I'm guessing. I'm guessing the connection is a bit weak at the moment. That or someone else is fucking around with the internet. Or, of course, the streaming might be taking up a bunch as well. Since, well, this is over the. Actually, the streaming should be happening over the LAN cable, not the Wi Fi. And this is being quite a bit stuttery. So, oh, there it fixed itself. Okay. Then I'll take this off for a moment. And just hold it to the side of my face so it thinks that my face is still in there. Then I swap the game capture from Robo Recall to, hey, why the, why is it not showing up there? Come on, game capture. Specific window. There we go. It took a moment to catch on. Uh, resize that. Oh, that is actually not running. Okay. Why the hell is it above it as well? Okay, what uh, is going on? It's being run in 4x3 resolution, it seems. But uh, yeah, this is just a free game that's available on Steam. I found it enjoyable enough to play it for a while. It's nothing too special. It's called Tap House VR. Now to send it to your gear as well. Thank you. Okay, put this back on. Okay, and there we go. Now. Tap House VR is bas it's basically like those cooking games that you can find basically anywhere. And they probably should have worked a bit on the spacing there. <clears throat> but yeah, instead of all kinds of food, it's just drinks. And yeah, like I said, I found, I found it to be fun and reasonably challenging enough. Nothing to play it for too long. And speaking of which, the uh, phone. Start the timer. There we go. Okay. Now, just to see, let's see. Releasing teleports. Uh, oh, that's boom. Okay, it, oh. it means to press it in and then. And uh, hello. I, I'd forgotten that that was there. Uh, yeah, let's take a little look around. Let's see, news in the tap house. 
Thank you for playing Tapos VR. After a year in Steam Early Access, we have finally reached version 1.0 with our the Spy Who Shield Me update. We hope you enjoyed this wonderful virtual experience as much as we had fun making it. Stay tuned for future Catland games and other cool stuff. Okay. That's always nice when they put it in a thing. Oh, uh, I'm not sure if I want to go in there. Why is the a fish in the pot? Your Why is it not cooked yet? The heck is this here? The bir birth of vodka? <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, like I said, I like I've said multiple game times. This game is free, but it, it's still fun for a ha. It, it's still fun. Now let's see. Let, let's just. It has been a while again. Is with this. So oh, that's a bit stuttery. Let's just go into the easy level, so I can show it off. And okay, there we go. Okay. Yep. Everything is getting placed down. And yeah, basically we're a bartender. Now we just have to wait for well, people to tend to. Or. I yeah, we need to start it first, of course, as well. There we go. Five minutes. We well, might call this early because this will get a bit more of the same. And here's our very <laughs> low <laughs> customers. Let's see. Oh, someone's going for the slots. Mm -hmm. You want something in a mug? <laughs> oh. Okay, 20% juice, 20% that. You are quant. Okay, you want something that's quite uh, difficult from the start. Okay, that the trigger is needed. Uh, other juice. Put those there. Where? There they are. Okay, and we do this. And it should be about right. And this one for another 20%. And then, where is that one? There it is, tequila. Tequila and juice, I'm not... It's a thing. Okay. And yeah, then, we get... thing you run. then we get paid. Oop. Controls are a bit iffy. You just put it in there, and we return. Okay, you want a martini glass? With just Lumi Cola. Okay. Uh, Made of expensive glass for cola, okay. And yeah, this stuff just refills on its own, no cost to us. So we can just chuck it. Beer glass. Not, nope, not those. Where are those glasses? <laughs> those are, are the ones in front of you. And they want milk. What does that mean? It, it's, uh, are those? Uh, you'll get iffy if it's not. Okay. You can only take these coins one at a time for some reason. Someone's enjoying themselves. You want this one? I recognize a bear. Nice. Uh, oh. the heck? Okay, this one, and you just want... Yeah. You literally just want tap water. Uh, where? Oh. You just want to pay premium for water. <laughs> How much, uh, question? Actually, we can check all of these. What am I seeing? A very uh, easily made model. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you can see how this can 
from the first one you can see how things can get quite difficult when people start asking for cocktails. Oh, like here, let's see, rum and loomy. Uh, rum and roomy, okay. Then we do like this, and then finish it off with the cola. It's not ex it won't ask for precise numbers, percentages, but still, you can just chuck things, everything in. You just, you just want an energy drink. And yeah, at the moment we can only serve one dwarf at a time. But with the other levels, and I keep making that mistake, with the other levels, you can get a lot more people all at once, and you need to keep all of them happy. Uh, that one again. Uh, they want the same drink again? What is that? It's a long shoe. Yep. Mm -hmm. They will not throw the importance at your customers. Yeah, they're the worst. They're, they're used to it. He burps in disagreement. And there we go. A plus score. Yeah. <laughs> Shift survived. Uh, 80 gold and one gold collected. Okay. And this trap is Not a bit bad. Loose. Actually, what is that? I think I'm home. There we go. Double check with this one. Yep. Nothing really special, just me being pedantic with how the strap is or isn't uh, at the moment. And yeah, that's the... Of course, that was just the easy. So, let me take a peek through this. Yeah, still running there. And let's give this one a... Oh, very... <laughs> very stuttery there. The normal difficulty one. As you can see, already quite a bit bigger. Everything spawned oh, in. Dear. It is quite cozy though. Now, where is that? There it is. Okay. Normal. Another five minutes. We'll probably call this one a bit early. So it's just seeing me move around and try and make and mix things together is probably not too amusing. And someone's phasing through the railing. Hello, sir. This time you can see two of those, or two orders at once. Another glass. Okay, you want 20% vodka, 80% juice. Okay. Juice, vodka. Just put those in together, and then finish. Actually, I got that wrong, I think. Work nuts. Cash, there, you want a bucket. Okay. You just, you just want it filled with lazy schmo. Okay, yes. don't ask me why one can can fill a bucket. You also want a bucket, just with juice. You got that one back, there was the cable. And yes, you do need to collect your gold after. Juice. This one. I'm not sure if speed matters much in how much you get paid. Okay, you want a wine fancy glass. Oh, and this is three parts. I see rum, vodka, and orange juice. Okay. We'll start with these, then the rest with that. That should do. Clean this place up a bit. And hello, you want these? Something is leaking somewhere. He wants this one. I think I tipped over one of the things I threw when it's just continuously empty. I recognize I icon. I forgot the brand's name. Oh. 
Damn those mages and their infinite ranks containers. Uh, you just want cola? You want... This. And this. Set it ready. Yeah. <laughs> Sir, let's see. Do that. Nope. He wants a cocktail. In one of these, and it is another one of those. Let's see, that is rum. Vodka, and some people are fighting. About there. Fill it up with the juice. There we go. You want a less fancy wine glass and just tap one, which is over here. Okay. We got a fan here. Bucket fan of tap water. Well, it is important to drink water, but. Uh, I'm sure drinking a full bucket at a time is healthy. I think that might be water poisoning. Uh, milk? Oh, milk? Who is an elk? You want vodka and raspberry? Let's put those there. Yep, there. Let's see, this is going to be a bit more difficult to keep track of. Oh, that, yeah, that's going to be off. Yep, because the, he will just slap it away. Okay. Will that do? Yes, that will do. You want a shot glass? It's uh, lazy. What the heck is that on his head? Oh, and not enough time because the ship was ended. Let's put the last away. Oh, SSS rank. Okay. 170 gold, 24 drinks served, and only one mistake. Dead customers. Well. <laughs> what the hell would I do to do to get a dead customer? Triple? A I've never seen that rank before! Okay. Uh, one more, or shall we call it here and move to the last game? Uh, let's move to the last game. Okay, but yeah, this this might just be a fun thing to occasionally uh, stream a bit uh, as just a for just a bit of fun. Yeah, it, it has its charm. Yeah, no, for people to see me leaning over on the camera like this, and how they... I literally have two right hands. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, let's get out of this. That's a common bug in those games. Maybe in Oculus games, at least. Okay, exit game. Then we move on to... Oh, timeout, connection seeking. I think Steam VR just crashed. So we'll just start it up again. Yeah, it, it shut down for some reason. And why the hell is it do we put that away? We don't have a need for the keyboard at the moment. Okay. Steam VR failed. Server to VR connection failed. Okay. Uh, let's try that again. Hmm. That's going to be a nuisance if it if something important crashed or broke. Also, oh, I, I hope my audio is better now that I'm facing towards the, the computer. Hmm. It is. Okay. 
let's see if this works if i just try to go directly to the game because i've got a big ass screen off my monitor at the moment okay i think something is wrong because it's opening the game in the monitor in the oculus but not on the oculus hmm okay i might need to turn yeah i need to turn some stuff off the heck did i Okay, it's being a bit iffy at the moment. Uh, can I? Let me see. No, not that. Come on. Uh, no, <laughs> it, it wouldn't be a test without something going wrong. Uh, not now with that. Uh, is it now starting up? Okay, of course, the things are going to be a bit wonky when you're running one thing through another. Uh, <laughs> come on. Show the taskbar so I can get out of this. Okay, I'll just take this thing off and do this manually. Yeah, some, something gave up the ghost there. Team VR, unexpected error. Okay, close it down then. Close that down. And oh, of course, it's one of those cases where the error message isn't actually being shown on the monitor. Okay, then I'll just use Task Manager, which I've got open. And by the looks of it, uh, running it, things in VR isn't actually tasking my CPU that much. Okay. Uh, Steam oh, VR and that. Okay. Just wipe my face off for a moment. <clears throat> okay. And back in we go. Actually, I could start it up from here, I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Where's the mouse? There's the mouse. Steam. Steam VR, preparing to launch. Okay. Let's get the spin out of that. Error occurred while updating Steam VR uh, app running. Okay, the hell is going on now? Stop that. Oh, apparently I've used Steam VR for almost 10 days total in hours. Okay, the hell is going on with this now? Steam VR ends. Actually, let me just shut down Steam in total just to be completely sure. Steam, oh, the Steam error reporter has gotten stuck. That explains. Okay, right, that's work now. Yeah, Steam shut itself down, started back up. Should take but a few seconds. Okay. There we go. Now, Steam VR again. Let me check. It should be running Steam VR in this now. Can... Yep, yeah, there we go. Okay, so. Something went wrong with Steam, and well, when does something not go wrong with Steam these days? Well, it does so less with a lot of other stuff, but still. Okay. Uh, come on, give me. There we go. No, I don't want to launch Slime Rancer and put that away. Cancel. Like I, I'll probably try this, the VR ver stuff of Slime Rancer. But not now because it's only a basically a playground. It's nice to be put, uh, nice to be added in, but not really too important. Okay. Now, phone here. Hopefully that stopped it. Nope. And now this game is getting a bit shivery as well. Okay. 
Are you going to load in correctly or not? This all looks mighty familiar, though I can't quite place the why or wherefore. Put your loot in that contraption over there. Let's get paid. Okay, let's start it up. So now to change this again. This probably won't be needed in future VR streams because then I'd just be sticking to one game. And why the hell is that so oversized now? Okay, let's move it around, size it down. Oh, not too far up. There we go. Like I said, th this is all just a test and just have some fun with it. And so far it seems to be going really well. I'll, I'll have to check the footage after this to see how well that went though. Okay, so here we are in Tape Digger 2 VR. Um, um, let's see. I hit the pop, you not forgot or something? Yeah, give me a second, just need to make sure this was running well. Uh, almost give people motion sickness again with this. Stream, go live. There we go. Moudrick here has it as well. Okay. Yes, yes, keep okay, shut up yeah. about headset power being low. You're literally plugged into the power socket. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this, this game is still in early access. And as such, it was pretty cheap, like 10 bucks, I think. I actually even just bought it specifically for this. Because I, I like... I liked what I saw of uh, Cave Digger 1, which was also a free game, I believe. And yeah, it just showed potential. Now, yeah, though, I remember oh, many years was playing that. Okay, yeah, th this, is, this is a lot more likely to uh, cause motion sickness. This paycheck's gonna be about as big as a little end of nothing. But don't break your pick yet. You'll get there next time. There you go. Your hard work floats off in the wind. And all you get is some dollars. Look at your left glove. You can keep track of your accounts with the dials on it. Why don't you open up the mail order catalog? Maybe you can already buy what? something. Capitalism. Ain't it grand? Let's see a revolver. <laughs> no ranks. Let's see. What just happened? We uh, put some... We put some ores into this thing, and then set it off in a fucking balloon. <laughs> That's not ore! I think it was something I didn't see, because I was a bit too distracted by my hand being contorted like a freaking pretzel. Whatever it was, it seemed to be covering the damn thing in blood. Let's see. We can so maybe it was ore, but it looked more like... You got pretty lucky with that sale there. Let's go pick up the revolver from the shed now. Come on. Every miner needs three <laughs> kinds of irons. Eating irons for their supper, digging irons for their mining, and shooting irons for when something gets in the way of the other two. That there is a mighty fine shooting iron you just bought. Remember to slot your tools here, rookie. You can't carry them outside the shed if they're not slotted. Security regulations, you know. We should get moving again. Go get some more loot from the mines. Not much to do here right now. Okay, and it does just drop. Okay. Maybe you're right, I think you throw whatever metal, but for me, they look like radioactive raspberries. Okay, now what it is once. It's a complete tutorial to enable map. And I think it just wants us to go down now. And it's moving forwards to wherever I look. Okay. Oh, God. No, I just remember. It, Helium, if you see a mushroom, don't eat it. Yeah, I think with how our body contorts, we've already had plenty of mushrooms. What do you get? Another day. I am unused for the main character to be talking. I'm just I'm mean, used to the damn radio talking. These here caves. It's a good thing there's a miner's torch in most rooms. 
Snap your fingers, rookie, and light up that torch over there. Hey, yeah, this is a lot more expansive than that ca that free game. Now, snap, how? And yeah, we're not going to be alone in these caves. No, yeah, yeah I'm it, 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 it. Oh, sorry. How do I, I quote-unquote, snap my fingers? I don't know, I can't snap my fingers. These caves are strange. They seem to change every time you go up to the surface. Root around this old mining camp, and let's head for the elevator there to go deeper. Okay, with the left stick I can move around like this, uh, but with the right I can teleport like this. Now, seriously, if you want me to snap my fingers or whatever, you got to give me a bit of an instruction except for how to do that in freaking VR. For a moment I thought that some noise was being tied to my finger, but no. Seriously. Yeah, fuck that then. Or do I need to go get something? Oh, hello? There's something in the wall. And There's at least three from... levels to any mine in this valley. It might be a little more dangerous the deeper you go, but you can handle that, right? Now get to cranking and let's go down. Right, as I was to say works. earlier. Oh. That yeah. worked very well. But as I was saying, I think this game got a lot of fans due to the first one. Good chance. Probably not the best thing to keep my pistol in my off hands. Did we just hit something? Probably best if I store this at, at my hip. And why is it now... Plasma blasts are liable to singe off your eyebrows. And that's if you're lucky. Hey, plasma shrimps. That's not a type of creature I've ever seen much in a game before. Are these things hostile? Well, I, I think I've seen shrimps in games before, but I've never seen the old wheel gun welcome. That's a mighty fine shooting ship. there, rookie. Yeah. The gun is I've never seen flying shrimps. You should shoot lots of things. Try aiming at them gems on the wall. I have seen flying lobsters. The first time I've seen a flying lobster were from, well, obviously, fantastic, impossible creatures. I mean, so we were the one making the fire lobsters. I didn't get put into my pocket, but it did get put into my inventory. I just moved a few extra times there. Yes. Grindstone. Okay, let's put that away. I, I can put it in my pocket and put it away. And it seems that they aren't hostile, so that's a good thing. Where is it? Are we, little, are we actually mining with our freaking gun at the moment? We do have a pickaxe. Malcontentite. Wait, wait, why is that funny for you? Malcontent. It's basically a different word for uh, delinquent or such. Uh, okay. <laughs> you forgot the timer, didn't you? Yeah, I missed the I missed the button to turn it off. Shut up, you. Let's start 
new for this one. Okay. One of the things that is a bit annoying with my quest that you just missed right there is when I pulled the headset off of my face, my glasses stuck and stuck within it. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's not like I uh, it's not like I just I'm completely blind without them, but still it's, <laughs> it's a tad bit annoying. And hello here. Also, this game has multiplayer. And I saw that. Uh, what's what surprised by it? Yep. Get the heck was. Okay, so it doesn't just break all of it. You just you actually have to dig your uh, pass through. Okay. What is that or? Nuggets. Okay. Let's go. Uh, it is go. Gold looks nasty. Yeah, it is raw gold. So, so we yeah, need a lot of refinement. Yeah, for some reason it looks kind of. It looks kind of like it's uh, a corrupted uh, gemstone or something, or it's made of. Like, it's got something like fossilized slime or something. Okay, I see now. You need to put it behind your back to put it away. There's a light shaking in the controller as well. Oh, oh. And, that's the, and this thing is about to break. Let's see. Those look a lot less friendly. Adult plasma shred. Yep. With an adult sized blast. That's a sentence. This also work. Oh. Excuse me for a second. Would this count this part? No, it would not. It's okay. It just it just returns to its slot if you lose it. Over the shoulder is probably better to do. There you are. Well, you got oh. plenty of new notches on your gun after that fight. Oh, and it's destructible objects. Thank you. I did not expect to hit that. <laughs> did, you see say, did you see say kill a plasma shrimp by accident? Yeah, I, I was aiming for it, but I didn't expect to hit it in one shot. Didn't we already get grindstone? Oh well. Do you drop anything? Yes, you do. Do me? Oh, yep. Nasty. Hopefully profitable as well. And yeah, let's let's move around with this a bit now. Because it is working a bit on my stomach. You want to walk? Okay, did, did this thing just drop the last half? Okay. 
working. This is a one we need to dig out first. I get the feeling that there might be something here. Also, why the hell are the veins in this glowing? Those growls are probably just meant to psych you out, but still. There we go. Preemptively reload. Okay, I, I thought it was just a fucking fossil. Land Nautiloid. Okay! Uh, I think I'm getting what they're going for here. Cthulhu? Yeah, they, they're going a bit of a low craft they're mining. Definition of crazy is trying the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. Yeah, shut That's up, the Western wrong boss. tool. Try something else, rookie. And but we don't have bombs. Nope. Am I stuck on? I think something just went straight over my neck there. With that last purple blast. Uh, you mean your head is on fire? Probably should be. Look, it's being a bit held at an odd angle. You are. forget to take your like I always say live by the pickaxe die by the pickaxe okay uh, is that com mis tutorial complete or that's con tutorial complete okay I just, I, I just got completely ambushed by one of those things what the heck uh, do we have anything to sell well we probably dropped everything well, sometimes you get it, and sometimes you get gone. Looks like you've just been had, Rookie. Okay, nice that at least lets us keep our stuff. So I, think it, it, I think you had some punishment there, like, I, I think you had more than that. Yeah, maybe. Let's see. Capacity, prospect. Better living through gunpowder now with complementary bonus voltage. Okay. Uh, let's see. Store, environment, log cabin. For all the off grid sheltering needs, now with no running water. Other. Guts. You're gonna have guts to survive in the frontier. Gumption. Okay, so that's health upgrades. Uh, uh, hello. Whacker, hacker, sledgehammer. Just a it's this is simply a massive tool made for smashing, hitting, and tapping. Dynamite detector. Dirt machine to detect walls using perfectly safe gamma ray supply. Shovel. Pardon? Let's see. Pardon? Else here. Pick up your loot up to 15, 50 pieces. Smart design for 17. Okay. And let's see. Adventures of Clayton. You haven't found any comic pages. There's no errands. Let's see. High quality monitor view. What will that do? Smooth turning toggle crap. Yes, please. Disable haptics. With haptics is something with VR that I'm interested in, but it seems to be at such a low supply 
basically haptics is basically like a, a suit you can wear or basically things you can wear like including a suit uh, sleeves knee pads even i think that'll uh, that'll basically hit you if you get hit in a vr game so if if you got shot in a, in a shooter you'd feel something impact you uh, as if you were Oh, I, I'm impressed and concerned. Okay, Codex. Baby plasma shrimp, the young plasma shrimp are less combative and dangerous than their parents and taste considerably better. While their plasma sacs are not fully developed yet, you can squeeze them to produce vibrant bursts of corrosive slime. Okay. Well, we'll try grabbing one of these things. The plasma shrimp is a beautiful monstrosity only found in the strange caverns under the mountains of the north. Adult members of the species are extremely territorial and regurgitate the contents of their plasma sac toward of fast passes. The populations have been in sharp decline recently due to the burgeoning industry of preserved <laughs> preserved plasma shrimp trout and chowder. Did it? Did it have any from the other monsters? Oh, here we go. Lands Noideloid. The land nodular is a strange permutation of this you know, usually seaborne critter. It is adapted to life on land by growing a powerful pair of flat napping <laughs> fin uh, flippers. The land nodular is mostly a calm and sedate scavenger, but its powerful tentacles and sturdy shell make it a dangerous opponent to on brown rock. And that's quite a thing, yeah. But green like the greed of men. Here. Yeah. Treasure. Also covered it by elderly ducks, I'm guessing. <laughs> a bit of it hidden behind there. Essence of the ancient sea. Okay, so this place used to be underwater then, I'm guessing. And we found no sense. relics. Okay, let's continue on. Let's give it one more dive in there. This is already a lot. I'm gonna have my dreams. Sometimes I wake up, sometimes I fall asleep. Sometimes when I fall, I fly. Okay, so we could just return up through one of these. So, yucky. Still. Pickaxe has gone to that one for some reason. Okay. I see. Oops. Did that go in? Uh, oh, it's... Yeah, because it's now toggled, I don't need to hold the trigger anymore. Okay. Now, let's see. No light here. Let's... Again, yeah, with the tutorial out, uh, we're getting into actually randomized mines now, I'm guessing. that away for a second so there doesn't seem to be any danger here yet probably big emphasis on yet and oh wait i can dig into this rest of the walls as well or is that just because okay. this is in between two mineable places and i saw you This is probably going to lead through to the next area. And give me some gold as well. We're literally just going to have to dig through the walls to find something out. There's some other path. I lose a bit. Come on. I can't reach. 
three snaps. And there's this. And that was the thing I hit earlier again, getting hit. If it fell down this time, it almost appeared on camera. It's gonna okay. creepy to mine in darkness. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Come on, break. Oh, I see two already. This game would have any sort of story, and it is an early access, so if it doesn't, it might eventually get added. Okay, uh, give me that. Oh, yeah, open that. Use both hands. Okay, put that away. Put this away. There's something that we can light up. I'm seeing, or at least not in sight. Come on, there we go. I thought I saw something blue glowing. Oh, there, around the corner. Come on, give me that. We'll have to deal with one of the non -way. The swings with this are a bit shorter than I anticipate. Bits. That was the last bits that I can reach at least. It's a bit there, a bit here. I'm not really sure how much verticality might come into play with this game. Oh, oh and I see something there. or something. something. It's not a light source. It's not... Okay. At least on your end, I presume the footage is doing okay? Oh, it's uh, well to me. This, this one at least actually looks smoother than the other two. So in a way, this one is the one that works best. I don't see much lag or anything on this game. Okay, that's just an empty shelf. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I'm just contorting my wrist a bit. Okay. Actually, give me. There. Otherwise, I'm going to end up hurting my wrist. Okay. You. All right. Let's see. We've got more to mine out here. Let me use my other hand to do this one. Unless there are 
enemies actively roaming around. We should just be safe for a bit. Yeah, this. Okay, what was did that sound bit for some reason? Yep. Did we find something good? It's a big vein, so that's good. Okay, so we'd have to check out how far through places we might be able to dig. Otherwise, it might just be possible to dig all over a map like this. And more here. If, if you can just dig your own tunnels, there it is, that'll be pretty cool. Like a bio version of Deep Rock? Yeah. Yeah, that would be cool, but also concerning if that might be too much for VR. I doubt it would get to the board like sewer bits of Deep Rock. Pistol at the moment. One. There's a bit more there and here. holding it too high. Hey, wait, wait, what are those? Uh, are those tentacle artifacts? No, those are roots. Oh. Okay. On. Oh yeah, this would get pretty fun. Especially with others involved, and hello, you are different. Juvenile plasma stream, perhaps. But there's a light lamp over there I can shoot to, to light up and see. <sighs> okay, I did not. Like I always say, shoot first. Long guy stream. Well done, rookie. Them things will be in good company down in whatever hell you send them to. Okay, that, that crapped me out from hearing that in my ear all of a sudden. Oh. Hey, I wonder if would light up the lamp over there. Your is a brothel on payday. Okay, now the bag is full. Okay. Well, nothing else but to run back then. Yep. Okay, let's take one of these as... Come on. Here we go. <laughs> we can just carry one extra back. Okay. Didn't think it would fill up that fast, but... <laughs> Still. Okay. Uh, the level. Oh, that, that, that is nice. This keeps track of how high you know, or deep you are. Oh, and... oh, oh, that's what he's saying. I was confused with the pickaxe on it. I was wondering, warning, don't hit yourself with a pickaxe or something. 
that's enough loot to make the damn grinder choke on its cows. Seeing a bunch of ones in there. I'm not entirely really sure which those might be since they are just coming out that fast. Whoa, that's a good haul. All the ghosts. Okay. Uh, let's see. Fungi shrimp. Reawakened into a strange unlife by a parasitic fungus, these poor plasma shrimps are driven by a powerful urge to attack any living entities nearby. Biologists speculate that this activity is motivated by the fungus stimulating the aggression centers of the primitive crustacean brain. The origin of the fungus itself remains a mystery. Okay. Can't afford that. Only shrimps. Yeah. Uh, okay. Diff wrong trigger. Zombie shrimps. Okay, that's new. Swedish safety dynamite. Order careful but discerning consumer. Yes. Yeah, it is only the alternate reality of our world, but yes, Sweden still exists. Now we um, have yeah. Sweets invented in tea. <laughs> okay. Now, is there anything Wait, you, you can do here? Wait, you didn't know? Nope. Oh, your poor, sweet, innocent thing. Okay, this is a cramped little space, but that probably should have been expected. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at this map and then probably call it. Loot poster to accept. Oh. Okay, we we can crouch. So I saw that earlier. Uh, that, and we can jump. Oh, oh, we crouch and then jump. This is crouch. This is crouch. Then jump. Okay. Anything with these? No, just a store. Let's see. Current location, and there are three other spots. Plants. Uh, let's see, 20 gold nuggets for 300 cleaners for 15 plants. Let's see, trade mer merchant trading company bribery and lobbying department <laughs> requires a special delivery of valuable materials to continue the global advancement of industries and business. Bonus bounty paid on delivery. Okay. The MTC principal thesis is don't be messy, consequently, our cleaning and polishing department has requested uh, us for a fund to be set up for mitigating the traces of industry in the northern new frontier. As the benevolent yet faceless entity we are, we have obliged for a time. Of course, these case from junk, bonus paid upon top. 15 plants. I guess we could collect those as well, just by picking them. 20 cans. As everyone obviously knows, we here at a MTC hold the environment in great regard. After all, it is where we all live and do business. Uh -huh -huh. And our publics and relations department tells us that recycling is very important for the environment. Okay. Yeah, th this, this lots look promising and like it could be fun uh, with other people as well. <laughs> at yeah. At the very least you can uh, laugh at when someone, at the very least you can laugh at someone when they get jump scared by a freaking shell. All the time. In this case, I think the risk of us both getting jump scared. For now, though, let's exit this. Uh, each thing BR takes a moment to reset itself. Or no, it just dies again. Or not? Okay. And oh, that explains it. For some reason, the alignment is off. It's pointing that way as front instead of that way. And it's freaking out for a moment, so I'll just go close my eyes, pause that, and pull this off. Okay. Yeah, we'll have to see how well that actually. We'll have to see how well that did on the stream itself. But that went better than expected, I must say, on this end at least. Okay. Oh yeah, I should keep a towel ready to dry off my face with <laughs> these things. Okay, for now though. Oh, and there's that's the 30 minute timer, so perfect. 
Okay. Jump that off. Get my chair back in. Okay. So, yeah. Successful test on this end, I'd say. Yep. Uh -huh. yeah. Not sure if I'm being a bit queasy now because of... It's not queasy. It, uh... Yeah, I, it's typical for during these streams for me to be a little bit burpy because, yeah, dinner beforehand and all that. So I can't tell if this time it is from the VR or just from food. And Steam VR critical error. Okay, just shut everything off then. Okay, oh, oh, it wasn't the response. Any save you had will be deleted. No, if it is, it's not too much lost. Mm. True, but uh, it could be yeah. a problem if you were to stream them on a regular basis. <laughs> uh, we'll just have to see. For now, though, uh, any thoughts on the games uh, I showed? I like them, especially Cave Digger 2. That, that one really hit well with me. <laughs> because Diggy Digger really Home? Fun. Yeah, maybe. And also, I loved watching the YouTubers play the first one as well. And I kind of like to see they are digging a bit deeper into the world's lore and such. So, yeah, I'm, I'm got quite curious of the world, even. Yeah, the Robo Week Recall one? Uh, Cave Digger is the one yeah. I'm talking about. Okay. But you said the first, so I might, I thought... Yeah, to uh, the <laughs> first game one, for a man. moment. I mean, keeping oh, yeah. one up on my YouTube play. Yeah. Uh, we'll see about streaming that sometimes. Uh, we'll also see, have to see how, how, uh, at how frequently we'll do that. But for now, yeah, test successful. I'll check the uh, footage uh, and upload it. And beyond that, yeah, I think we're done yeah, I think so too. Okay. So anyone has been watching now or later, thank you for watching and thank you especially, Drakir. You're most welcome, my friend. And yeah, until next time, have a nice day and until then. Stay safe, folks, and watch out for shrimps.